In this tutorial, we'll look at how to keep the active CSS style after a click on a button. Okay, so just have a simple example here, just an HTML file. The only thing we have here is a button. This is what we have right now. If we click on this and let go, well, it goes back to its normal uh, styling, right? So now what we want is when we click it, it sort of keeps its style. So very quickly, we have the active pseudo class in CSS. And this is for when you are currently pressing the button. So let's say when we are pressing the button, we want like an aqua background color. I'm in refresh. And now when I press the button, we get a blue aqua color. For some reason, it also gets a border. I actually don't know why that is, but it's not really important here. So now um, this only works when we are currently pressing the button, but we also want to keep it after we have stopped pressing it. So there is another uh, pseudo class called focus which may be more suitable for you in that case. So then the element that is currently focused, you only have to click once and you can let go. And then this element is focused and it will, well, it will apply the styles here, right? Now the downside of this one is that when another element becomes focused, this one loses the focus, right? So only one element at a time can be focused. If you click on something else, this one will lose focus, right? That's the downside. And we'll see how to solve that in a second. Okay, now how do we solve, how do we solve this if some other element gets focused? for example, some other button here, then this one will lose focus and therefore it loses that background color. So basically what we want to do is we want to use JavaScript to sort of permanently change it once it's, once it has been clicked. So I'm linking, let's actually link to my script file. Let's say script and I'll, I'll do, I'll actually do it in a separate script file, script.js. I like to add defer here so it doesn't block parsing the rest of the page, right? This is a best practice, right? So make sure you have mastered modern JavaScript and also CSS. I have courses on them. Definitely check those out. The links are in the description. So here I'm going to remove this, right? So now we have no CSS styles anymore, um, but maybe we want to add a class um, once we have clicked on it. That's actually what we're going to do. So we're going to add a special class, let's say, and that will get the background color of aqua. Right. So right now it doesn't have this class. It only has the BTN class. We're going to add the special class after the user has clicked on the button. Um, in the JavaScript here, what we can do is we can select that button. We can say button L. We can say document query selector. It has a class of BTN. So it's dot BTN. I like to append L to the variable name to indicate that we have selected an HTML element here. And then we say at add event listener on the click, we want to add that class, right? So using the modern arrow function syntax here, right? So make sure you have mastered modern JavaScript. So then here we can say uh, btnl class list, we can remove a class and we can also add a class. The class we want to add here is called special and that, and that will set the background color, right? So on the click, we add a uh, CSS class. Okay, so let's see if that works. So now if we click here and let go now, even when I click on other elements or if there would be other elements and they would get focused, it would still keep that um, background color. Right. So this is how you can keep the, the active CSS style after a click, even when other elements receive a focus. Now, what if you have multiple buttons, for example, and you want and you want this behavior for all of them? So let's also quickly do that. In that case, we, we shouldn't be selecting only one. We should we should be selecting all of them. Let me comment this out. It's actually going to be quite similar. What we would do is document query selector all. All elements with a class of button. And what you actually get is a uh, list. Right. So then what we can do on that list is we can go over each one. And so we get a button element here. And we want to add that event listener for all of them. Right. so for each one, we're going to add an event listener. And currently what it will do is when there is a click, it will add that background color. And this will work if you have multiple buttons. Let's actually duplicate them. All right, so we have three buttons now. If I click here, it will work. If I click here, it will work as well. But maybe when I click on the other ones, the previous one should be removed, right? So here, before we add one, we also want to remove the previous one. So we can select the current element that has that special class, right? That's what we do here. And then we can say dot class list simply. And then we can just say um, remove. And actually, I don't want to have this horizontal uh, scroll bar. So what you can actually do in Visual Studio Code is you can go to view, word, wrap. And here we can remove. Let's see, remove the class special. And then this element gets the special class. So now if I click here, all right, now this may give a problem because initially there is no element with this class. So when you first click, it will actually, actually give us an error. So we have a new uh, feature in JavaScript. You can have a question mark. So in case it doesn't exist, right? This may not exist when we first click here. It will not give us an error, 
Right, so we can just continue here. So let's see, I'm gonna refresh here. And now you can see we get exactly what we want. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you wanna be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.